with these words. Well, good morning. According to the ordinance, quote, the owning, keeping, or harboring of pigs, horses, cows, sheep, goats, llamas, domestic fowl, outdoor rabbits is prohibited, and this section does not apply for temporary religious sacrificial purposes as permitted by law. Well, good morning. According to the ordinance, quote, the owning, keeping, or harboring of pigs, horses, cows, sheep, goats, llamas, domestic fowl, outdoor rabbits is prohibited, and this section does not apply for temporary religious sacrificial purposes as permitted by law. Our city is dirty enough. We don't want to make more dirty. Debates raged on for at least three hours at Hamtramck City Hall over the new ordinance of sacrificing animals. Really ridiculous, catastrophic uh, resolution. If it's not passed, then we are ready to take it to the court for the uh, religious rights. It is his constitution. This was the second debate of the new ordinance, and there was a crowd outside of the city hall chambers filling out cards to speak, and they were watching it on closed circuit TV. No, it's not safe or sane or humane because basements or kitchens or backyards are not suitable places for live animal slaughter. Many people, including Muslim residents, were against it, citing sanitary concerns if the animals are sacrificed in a home and not in a sterile environment, especially in the tight-knit neighborhoods of Hamtramck. The ordinance that was passed on Tuesday night says religious sacrificing of animals can be done as long as it is done legally and humanely. I think it's the best compromise. We don't want to restrict religious freedoms and we don't want to keep it random without regulations. Many Muslims pay a butcher to perform the religious sacrifice, but for some families, it's just not practical, says Nawar Ali with Care Michigan. A lot of families will typically do it in the confines of, of their property, like in their backyard, their garage, and again, dispose of the animal accordingly. And we do have that full ordinance up on our website, WXYZ.com, in case you want to take a look at it. Reporting in Hamtramck this morning, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7, Action News. All right, something tells me, Peter, that we have not heard the last uh, of this fight. Thank you so much for that report.